So hey guys, today I just thought we'd take a look at this Solar 1330 battery charger. And I don't know what's going on with this battery charger, but it's not putting out. So we're just going to get right into it here as we speed through the taking this charger apart so we can get a better look at it here. And right off, I'm very surprised that this is a toroidal transformer. A toroid is definitely a more expensive transformer. I have it plugged up here and we don't have any output. I'm going to hook my meter up so you can see it yourself here on camera. Get the back light on and yeah, 0.9 volts if you can see that. All the ranges, so it's not just one particular range, so not even getting one volt. Let's see if something's going on with the input fuse or if I hopefully ain't nothing major. It's definitely not just one specific selector switch. But this being a toroid transformer definitely is surprising because they're more expensive to wind as well. A little bit higher inrush current, which is why I think we got this board here for inrush current limiting. Um, this configuration of transformer gives you a lot less magnetic flux leakage. And look here, right off the bat, we have a wire that's coming loose from our switch. And it looks like this is the neutral wire coming off from our wire coming in, which is odd to me. I didn't realize it switched the neutral. I have to look into this to make sure it's doing this. We see the switch here. It's got two different terminals it can go on, so I need to look this up. But it looks like to me the, the second from the left has a little bit of shine to it like it it definitely had the terminal on it at one time and it also jumps down to another terminal here that's actually trimmed off while we at it here we'll look at our um our little circuit breaker here on the dc side here's our diodes here on our plate and if you remember in the last battery charger the repair video this one is actually the opposite yeah, this one actually has the anodes to the plate and it's actually a lot more of them so this is a lot heavier duty charger than the Syntec because we see the plate here the way this comes off this is going up to our negative so the plate's going to be our negative and the positive is coming up and it's going to be going through through our current meter and going back coming off our transformer so yep it is the opposite of that last one and i'm going to tighten this up and put it back on there for testing i couldn't find any information on this charger i'm going to look a little deeper but i'm pretty sure it goes here the way everything looks and looks like they are switching the neutral to the transformer. So I took all of these loose here and tightened them up with my pliers and wrote down the designation. And I'm going to share it on a drawing later in the video because I really can't find any information on it at this time. So I'm going to share with you here what it looks like in case you're having trouble. Of course, looking up the solar charger came up with all kind of actual solar panel type charger. But if I looked up this actual switch number 246-408-000, I did come up with some information. Now, this is the information that I want to share with you here first. And this is showing the little drawing that I come up with. Some readings that I got straight down. Nothing is on or made, which is not a position that they use on this charger. So in the off position, A to terminal 2 is on or made. The 2 amp setting, A to 1 is on or made. 15 amp setting, A to 5. 40 amp, A to 3. And 200 amp, A to 4. And I just showed here also the designation and how that's wired. If it helps somebody else with a similar charger. Since this was such an easy, easy repair, I thought I would at least share some information that took me a lot to find on this charger. And all the transformer readings read around one ohm, roughly just, you know, going through checking. So that's pretty common, but just for reference there. But I do want to say that after I finally searched for this switch numbers I was talking about, the 246 
I finally come across a Century 141-304-901H. And here we go. This looks like it is a identical charger made by the same manufacturer more than likely. So here are some part numbers. Unfortunately, a lot of these are going to be obsolete even though they used to be available. But if this helps somebody else, I want to share this information with you. For example, this current limiting board, if you notice at the bottom left, it says discontinued. So there's a lot of stuff that used to be available for this that's harder to find. So instead of searching for solar charger, for instance, on this, uh, you would be a lot better off searching for the Century. And I'm going to share the diagram here. And if you look at this in the upper left corner, it's exactly like I've taken time to draw out before I found this. So... That's reassuring that everything is like identical. And this is a Toro Auto Transformer design as well. So I'm confident that it's the same manufacturer. And here we go after putting that wire on there. There we go, two amp. Yep. As we go on across our selector switch here. Yep. Getting our voltage output for sure. Now I'm just going to hook a battery up so we actually have a load. Yep, 13.6 and a 2 amp. We're getting about 15 volts or so roughly on the 15 amp setting or selector switch setting. About 16 on the 40 quickly rising because that's a lot of current and just just a brief bump there on the 200 amp just to show that it's working and back down and we'll cut it off so yeah awesome i'm glad it was a simple fix if you want to see the current here as we uh, go up i'll bring the the camera over so you can see a little bit better this is actually a fully charged battery already but we saw the current jump up as we went up to a higher setting We're just going to speed through the reassembly of this battery charger. I hope you found this video helpful on this battery charger. Hopefully the information that we shared uh, helped somebody else. If you did like the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching and God bless. So now for a little bonus at the end of this video. This meant especially for the owner of this charger. So a really quick mention here. This solar battery charger that we looked at today belongs to my dad. And first of all, my dad probably could have fixed this quicker than I did. I'm sure he thought it would make a good video. So I appreciate him letting us use it to see what was wrong with it. And hopefully some of the information that we shared here helps somebody in the future. Especially as we looked up more information about the parts and the diagram that we could find for it. On the Century model, that's very similar. And with that extra information, we shared hopefully be some help to somebody in the future. But I just really want to take this time to make sure my dad knows how much I appreciate all he's done in our life, all the things he's done for us, the example he's been, from being a great example of a father and a husband, the godly example that he's gave our family. And on top of all of that, the love and desire to fix things from back in the 80s working on VCRs and things and me learned from him as a kid. As a young adult, he started a small engine business that you know, just fueled that desire to learn and how things work. And it's just been a lifelong journey, and I've appreciated every step of the way. As we get closer to Father's Day, I just want to say thanks, Dad. Thanks for all you've done. Thanks for all you do for our family, and we love you.